so great. Yeah, fire up. No, no, not that. That's the duck cutter. All right, yes, man. Come on. Yeah, okay. All right, let's talk about this over here. Let's... Hey, there's John. How we doing, John? All right, guys. Hey. Welcome, Welcome. Uh, to our shop here. We're the HVAC Jerks. My name is Rich. This is Kevin. Yo, what's up? Anonymous Joe is... We don't know. I don't know. We've heard stories. There's some flashy people going around flying with the flashy thingy again. Yeah, I don't know. I heard he was so on his way here. He, yeah, he's some MIA. Kind of we incident. We're not sure exactly what happened. We're not going to push it. We're just going to let it happen. We're going to let it play out, but a uh, high-speed chase or something yeah, like that. So, so right. we're just going to leave him alone for now. But we're very excited to talk to you guys out there in the Instagram and Facebook and just the world alone in YouTube. Yep. We have a fantastic product here brought to you by Milwaukee, and it is the 18 Fuel, baby, yep. right? This yep. thing is... A cordless threader. What? It's a Say it again. Threader. There's no... This is the Milwaukee, the Milwaukee cordless threader. Fuel cordless threader. Amazing. Cordless. Now, in the past... You sure? In the past, I'm, I'm pretty sure. That's wow, what I'm look at that. Look at that. That's cool. This thing this is, is sweet. Really, this is a neat looking machine. It's I a like great, the way it's got, a, it's got the cool edges on it. Very, very cool. Yeah, looks looks, looks looks killer. Looks mean, right? Yeah. But this thing, let me tell you. Let me tell you something. This thing's got some girth, baby. What's that weigh? About 22.3 pounds. 22 I'd say 23. Just to round it up. Okay. Is that cool? So, so you throw one of these batteries, feels like it's got some girth. These things are monsters. Mm -hmm. I can tell you right now, they're going to last a while. You're going to get a lot of cuts in on these. Yep. Uh, obviously, batteries. you're going to be rocking and rolling. There's the only cord in the box that goes to the charger. You get one of those. Now, it does the small M12s as well as the 18s. That's cool. So you can do, you know, multiple batteries. It doesn't charge two at once, no. but it does uh, give you the option to charge multiple styles. Okay, what's this thing here? This is the locking bar. This is actually uh, enables you to not have to use a vice grip. So this is the mobile. Uh, you put this here. Yep. That thing's going to hold your pipe in place. It locks right into this this area right here. Okay. And it holds your pipe still while you thread. So you can, so, you're telling me you can thread pipe without a vice? This Milwaukee threader, you do not need a vice. That's I'm amazing. telling you right now. And you don't need a cord. You don't okay. need an outlet. You don't need a generator. All right. So what you are going to need is two of these batteries fully charged. This beautiful carrying case. I would recommend that you bring an oiler and, uh, you know, some black pipe and go to it. All right. So you can do this right on the job. How are you cutting pipe these days? Well, not cutting front. We have the traditional, uh, this is how I started cutting pipe back in the day. Uh, my father used to make me do this in the driveway, but we used to have this style where you would literally stock them over here, and, you know, and just and, and crank it. And, uh, boy, you got quite a workout That's doing a that, you know? Especially with the pipe. Then you, then you went to the, uh, the, 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 the bigger ones. What was that? Uh, the, yeah, the 300 machine. The 300 machine, right? And then you had the 700 corded where you had it. That thing would take okay, you for a ride and pick you up off the ground and throw you. So, you guys to move them around. And so what are the nice features about that? Because that, that, that torque, these things are super high torque. So what happens is, is these things will throw you if you're not careful, but not this one, not the Milwaukee. Milwaukee's got this figured out. This tool has an auto stop feature that will stop you from breaking your arm. This thing is no joke. It works. I've tried this. It's beautiful. Very smart, very safe. Speaking of safe, let's make sure we read our book and we stay up on the safety features. Notice I've been reading it, it's nice and dirty now. So. Nice and dirty, so we want to make sure you understand that you, this is a very serious tool. This thing is very powerful. We don't want little children using it. This is for professionals only. Uh, I would recommend that uh, we keep it that way. All okay. right. So, so what do we got here? There's a trigger here. We so got our trigger here. over here. We do have the one key option. One key um, is cool. One key is cool. This thing is a, a this is track. like a a Wi-Fi tracker of your device. And, so uh, Rich has the app. He's the app master. You can download the app on your phone. This is the one key Milwaukee app. Uh, this is cool. You just download it, sign sign up, get uh, signed in, and and what this will do is it'll track your tool. So if you ever lose it or misplace it or leave it on the job site, you just look into that, it'll tell you exactly where it is. So there you go. It gives you cool. last location. So just real quick with these dies, I wanted to show you too. Just Rich, I don't know. This, uh, we just opened this for you, so this is new for you to see. But yep. uh, while we're doing this, just to show you like how finely tuned uh, this whole mechanism is, uh, this just goes right in like that. So now let's just take standard rigid dies like everybody Rigid dies, other brand. Yep, you can okay, use it. So you don't so, have to buy new dies. No, if you have dies already, they'll yep. pop right in here like that you hear that little click you swing that over to lock now you are engaged and ready to roll that's amazing that's right. so, that's try it yourself that's real easy all right okay so simple your I'll grandmother can do it okay what's okay. this this is a two-speed option 
which is really nice for me. I like to cut in the one. Uh, if I'm cutting the pipe, I'd like to go in the one speed just because it's nice and slow, get my oil in there. Yep. Uh, I don't want to race into it. Uh, when I'm backing out, I like to flick it to two, go in reverse. So does it have and a reverse button? This does have a reverse button, or we would just thread it all the way through like threaded rods. So we don't right want to do that. So you got a little <laughs> switch over here, right. forward, reverse. Um, so we'll get more into these options here when we uh, actually start doing some cuts. Okay. Cool. But uh, one of the nice things too, um, it's just this extra handle, the grip. It, is, it just it, it gives you great balance when you're actually holding this thing in the air if you're going to be working off of a tripod. Um, what I would tell you is that a great recommendation is not to use carb cleaner on the Milwaukee, all right? Don't use it on your dies and don't use it on here. You're gonna do damage to the head, just my opinion. Uh, you don't wanna break down the oils. The oils are good for this. Uh, wipe it down with a towel, paper towel. We have rags over here that Rich is hiding. You know, you just wanna wipe it down, make sure it's wiped, but that oil is good for it. So we don't wanna to totally get rid of that oil. So you wanna wipe off all the, 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 the excess and Excess oil, and, and, and just so you know, and, and, and what, this is why I'm saying this, is that this is meant to be oily and dirty. It's part of the job. But if you notice right here in this box, there's a nice rubber gasket that protects the batteries because Milwaukee figured out that there will be excess oil. Okay, so this bead seals this compartment right here from this compartment. So they know that there might be some excess oil dripping around in there which is fine cool. and it protects this. So the great design, this is how far Milwaukee takes it. That's they great. go to the next level and they're putting in every possible scenario and they're covering all the bases. So they we're really, this really, this is like an amazing thing. I can't wait to get this thing on, a, on that on that tripod yeah, and go to right. town on it. All right, you ready cool. to let's go? Yeah, yeah, let's do this, man. So I would, uh, we're gonna start off with throwing a little oil in the pipe. It's gonna be rich there. Safety glasses. Safety glasses. You don't want any loose clothing or anything like that. The gloves here are nice and tight. Uh, make sure they're not gonna get caught up in the tool or anything like that. Rags close in your pocket could get sucked in. All right, so if you're a little slender like me, make sure you tuck your shirt and get it tight. We don't want anybody getting hurt. So with this bad boy right here, we have our one inch die. We got our one inch pipe. We're gonna slam this thing right in there. Okay. All right, we're gonna make sure we go. we're in forward over here with our reverse forward switch. All right, so we want to make sure we're going in the right direction. I like to cut on number one. So I'm going to start right here. Get this thing going. Rich is going to start oiling for me. So here we go. That's how we cut it. You can see that this thing has got serious torque. Yeah, that's cooking. The thing's cooking. The oil is nice and warm. Get you. Nope. So now I'm going to put this thing in reverse. And I, like I said, I like to go number two on the reverse. Just gets it out a little bit quicker, saves some time. Go in reverse here. You see that thing stopping? That's that torque. So that's that auto so stop. That's not you stopping. It. That's, that's, that, that's the machine itself stopping. It doesn't sense something's right, so it doesn't like it, so it shuts it down. As long as it feels everything is going correctly, like it should, it'll allow you to keep cutting. As soon as it feels something torqued or not correct, it's going to go into the auto I was stop mode. Right. Well, we can do that. We can, we can do that. All right. I don't have a helmet, though. But this is going to back out real nice for us. Okay, go. so we got ourselves some nice threads. Thread. We got here, this is going on next week's boiler. Right, cool stuff. Right. Looks like. Make sure we got nothing inside. Take our rag right over here. We're going to wipe down the excess oil. We're going to make sure we're good. But we got ourselves a beautifully cut piece of pipe. Cool stuff. Nice and clean, ready to roll, baby. So now, just to show the speed, let's pop that out. Let's just switch this up a little bit here. We're going to go again. Now we're going to have, a, let's just say we're going to do a, a half inch pipe. Just to show you how quick this is to do, I'm going to come over here on my bench and pop my one inch die out of here. Grab my half inch die nice and easily. Pop 
pop that in. I'm gonna make sure that we're locked in. I'm gonna twist it, lock it. I'm ready to go. We'll go right over here. Cool stuff. Want some oil in that? Yep, we're gonna need that oiled up. I'm gonna make sure I'm in forward. I'm just gonna start cutting. Two hands on this sucker. We wanna make sure it starts cutting. It's gonna wanna pick you up. Amazing tool. So I'm stopping that. I'm going to go. In, I'm going to go into reverse here. Gonna pull this thing out. It's amazing how, how fast Milwaukee has got this. To, it actually cuts faster than their other electrical yeah. pipe threaders. Yep. So they they got this thing down to the science. They even advertise it that it cuts faster than a threaded Beautiful. pipe cutter. Stuff. Now we're ready to go. That's how quick that is. Nice. Give that a little wipe. Here we go. You're ready to rock and roll, baby. All right, Rich. You ready to do a table cut? I'm just right, going to show you how to do this on a workbench. Let's do it. All right, so we want to make sure that we don't have our battery in the tool while we're working on it, okay? Right. So we're going to lay this down. You already got your gloves on. That's fantastic. My gloves are on. I'm a second behind you. Sure. Mess over these here. are number one cuts, so these are okay. good for, like, right now. Keep your hands safe. Cool. So we want to make sure they, these things are awesome. They got the little shirt grip on them, too. So All right. good you stuff. Okay. No, uh, no, I'm, 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 we're listening to the police scanner. Yeah. Um, it's not sounding too good. I heard some so, sirens going by before. Yeah. I don't know. He's probably in the area, but. Okay, so don't forget else? your safety glasses because. I got them uh, on my head. You've been slacking on yep. your safety. So we want to make sure. All right, so, All right, so we're, we're going to do. Batteries out. Batteries out. We're going to load this bad boy up. We're going to make sure we're online. We're going to do some half inch. I got a half inch die. We're going to slap that sucker in there. You want to make okay. sure it locks. Lock it. We're going to flick it over. One finger. See how easy that is? Boom. Awesome. Locked in. We're ready to roll. We're going to come over here. Flip this up. We're going to take this nice heavy duty battery. Snaps in. Here We've we done a bunch of cuts with the same battery since we started this episode. And we're still four bars. The thing is awesome. Milwaukee has done such a great job. Now we're so, going to do this without advice. So this is without advice. You guys are all going, there's no way it can't be done. I'm telling you. We're going to show you today. It's live. This is in your face. It's magic. Milwaukee has figured it out. We're going to take this bad boy. I'm going to start right here by putting that right in there and getting it ready to thread. We're going to take our locking bar, which is like a mini, mini vise. We're going to start it right in there. So we're going to spin this down as soon as I can get it in there. Come on, Rich. Got to get your stinking paws in there. Good. Oh, jeez. Now, this would have never happened if Joe was here. <laughs> you kidding? If Joe okay. were here, this... So we want to get this in here. Still we're going to, we're going to make box. sure this is on there tight because we don't want our pipe to spin because the amount of torque this thing's putting out is pretty serious. All right, so we know that we're in there. Now this over here, folks, this area, this bar goes in here. This is going to keep this from spinning the pipe. You don't want your fingers in there. You get a phalange in there, you're going to be a hurting dude or gal. So let's be safe. So we're going to do this without an oil container. Usually you would see some kind of oil catch to catch the, uh, the debris and the oil, but we're going to do it right here on this bench because we don't care. Well, we want you guys to see it actually happen. So. Not too often you get a workbench in the field. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. Basement on the floor somewhere. Basement on the floor. That, that'll be our next shot. But, uh, Rich, you're going you're gonna to oil this one. We're going to make sure that we're in forward position here, okay. uh, which I flicked over. We're good. We're going to have our hands in a safe, secure yeah. space. Speed. And we're going to make sure we're in torque one. Here we go. We're just getting that a little bit of pressure to start. A little bit of pressure to start. Just give it a little squeeze. Make sure your fingers are not inside there. You can see me holding this with one hand. That's how little torque it has. This thing locks it right in. High quality, heavy duty, no joke. If anybody needs any instruction on how to oil this, just give me a call. Rich, Rich is a professional oiler. Uh, this goes back in the day when uh, Johnny Holmes, I think, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to go in reverse. I'm going to try to go number two here. We're going to go. That didn't sound right. You might want to take that out. It's any easier. Milwaukee has made this so simple. Damn right brilliant. We're going to pop this out of here. There is our, our die. That is cut, cleaned, ready to go. Look at this. Cool. Sucker. Guys, if you're doing a, a furnace, a boiler, you need a piece of gas pipe, 18 and a half inches. All right, here you go. 
All you gotta do is carry this bad boy into the, into the basement with you, wherever you're working. You can set this up right on the ground. You got a piece of plywood, you can cut it with a little bit of oil. There's not much oil there. That's Didn't take much to make this happen, right? So you get all these little, little chiplings and whatnot, but I'm telling you. So here, just to show you again, we're gonna break this down. We're gonna pop our battery off. Just to make sure we're safe, we're gonna unlock this. We're gonna pull that bed right out of there. We're ready for our next cut. We go to a three quarter inch or one inch, we're ready to go. I'm telling you right now, Milwaukee has done this right. This thing is the real deal, it's a beast. You have to have one. 18 volt, mega packed power, all in this little package. I love it, I'm super excited. I wanna do some big pipe now. As much as it sounds like this is a, a paid advertisement like that, nobody gave us a script or anything of what to say. This is really is just testing out the, the tool, and this is just a really cool thing. You, you gotta try it. Try it, own it, live it, be it. Let's go, Milwaukee's got this. They did all the work for you. Easier, they did all the work for you. What's left to do? Yeah. So here we are now, guys. We're gonna show you how easy this is to set up on the ground. This is gonna be Rich's second official cut with this. Uh, we wanted to make sure that we showed you inch and a quarter pipe and how simple this thing is. Milwaukee, again, like I said, is just killed this. So Rich has got himself set up. He had the battery out. He put the, the uh, die in here. Uh, he's gonna put himself to number one speed, right? Yep. And uh, he's ready to cut. We're gonna get this pipe in here and uh, we'll get the oiler. We don't wanna damage the floor, so we're gonna put a bucket under this one. So we'll show you how it works. Here we go. Take the inch and pipe. Stick it right in the back as far as it'll go. And we set this up. Just clamp it down on the pipe with the little bar just about flush there in the front. Tighten this down. You're a professional pipe threader. I, I am actually. It didn't pretty, pretty, pretty damn good here. Yeah. All right, look at you. Good. So now that should be loose and wiggly, right? So. Yep. Again, we talked about before, don't have your finger anywhere near this thing when it's starting to torque and do its thing. Right. Um, so you wanna make sure that yep. we're, we're pulling in here. Hold that. All right. Speed one. Speed one, we got oil, so Rich gonna pick it up, put that head in here so we don't make a mess on the floor here. All right. All right. So we're doing inch and a quarter here, right? Yep. All right, here we go, inch and a quarter pipe. Good, good, right. good. Now, you did this as a kid. I'll tell you right now, there's no way no, you could do that with one hand standing nah, up, is, cutting inch and a quarter. This pipe. is amazing. Yeah, it's, this is like look uh, how look how easy that was and effortless. This is uh, seven or eight minutes of struggling with stock and die on a on a vice. Just getting set up. Yeah. Never mind cranking. You'd be cranking for eight, ten minutes by itself. All right, so I turn the speed up on two. I'm gonna push it into reverse, and we're just Watch gonna take thing. it out. Watch this thing. And there you go. Boom. Look at nice. that. Nice clean threads. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Love it. Inch and a quarter pipe on the ground, one hand. Couple minutes of setup and you are golden. Custom pipe anywhere. Nice. Way to go, Milwaukee. Unbelievable. So we want to thank uh, Milwaukee once again for putting out a great product and we had a great experience here. Uh, we absolutely love this tool. Can't wait to move forward with it in the future and I hope you guys make this purchase. You're going to love it. One of the best parts is this, this brace right here. Keeps you, you can throw a piece of pipe with one hand. Awesome. Awesome, awesome tool. Uh, thanks again, Milwaukee. We want to thank all of you guys for watching our video, listening to our podcast, uh, giving us the support on Instagram, Facebook, uh, YouTube. So we're, we're, you guys are the reason we're doing any of this. So awesome. Thanks. We can give something back here. Send us, me, send us an email to uh, the boys at the HVACjerks.com and uh, keep an eye on us, Joe, safe. Peace out. See you guys on the next one. HVAC Jerks out.